GD95 Pro Operation Teaching Video Notice Product list Pre-flight preparation Open the storage bag, remove the remote control and the drone Spread the forearms of the drone Turn on the drone. Place the drone on level ground. The drone light flashes slowly at this time. Turn on the remote control. At this point, the remote control beeps twice. Drone screen light flashes slowly. The red light stays on. This indicates success with the frequency. Short press on the geomagnetic calibration button. The remote control beeps once. The drone's light flashes rapidly. Geomagnetic calibration can be performed at this time. Hold the drone in your hand. Slowly rotate clockwise from horizontal direction for three turns. The green light of the drone changed from fast flashing to slow flashing. The remote control beeps once. Indicates successful horizontal calibration. Hold the drone vertically. Slowly turn the head down clockwise for three turns. The drone's indicator light changes from fast flashing to green light flashes slowly. Red light stays on. The remote control beeps twice. Indicates successful calibration. Press and hold the gyroscope calibration button on the remote control. The drone's indicator light changes from fast flashing to green light flashes slowly. Red light stays on. The remote control beeps once. Indicates successful calibration. After successful gyroscope calibration, green light flashes slowly. Red light stays on. Waiting for GPS star search up to 9 stars or more. The green light of the drone change from a slow flash to a long light. Red light stays on. The remote control beeps once. Indicates a successful star search. Long press the GPS switch button. The remote control beeps twice. Green light flashes slowly. Red light stays on. The indoor mode indicator on the remote control goes off. Indicates entering indoor mode. Basic operation. Press the unlock button to unlock the drone. Up. Down. Turn left. Turn right. Forward. Backward. Left side flight. Right side flight. The drone's takeoff speed default slow gear. Short press the speed button. The remote control beeps twice to indicate that it is in high speed gear. Short press the speed button again. The remote control beeps once to return to slow gear. Press the headless mode button. The remote control beeps once. Drones go into headless mode. Press the headless mode button again. The remote control beeps twice. Drone exits headless mode. Turn the knob left. Camera angle turns down. Turn the knob right, camera angle turns up, or you can click the PTZ icon on the mobile app. Move the slider upwards, camera angle turns up, move the slider downwards, camera angle turns down. Short press the photo video button to take photos. Long press the photo video button to record. Press and hold the photo video button again to end the recording. Or click the photo icon on the mobile app to take photos. Click on the video icon to record. Press one click return button. The drone will automatically return to the takeoff location.
Obstacle avoidance function. Remove the cover plate. Firmly pinch the incisions on both sides of the obstacle avoider and insert it into the base. Firmly pinch the incisions on both sides of the obstacle avoider. Pull out the obstacle avoider. The obstacle avoider must be installed when the drone is turned off. Otherwise, the obstacle avoider may be damaged. When the drone is turned on, do not touch the obstacle avoider. The obstacle avoider must be removed when the drone is turned off. The drone has 360 degree obstacle avoidance function. When an obstacle avoider is installed, the obstacle avoidance function is turned on by default after power on. Long press the obstacle avoidance switch button to turn on or off the obstacle avoidance function. Mobile phone installation. Insert the phone holder into the remote control bayonet. Clip the phone to the phone holder. Pull the phone holder upwards to adjust the angle of the phone. Mobile APP control preparation. Scan the corresponding QR code on the manual. Download the app. Turn on the drone after installation is complete. Connect Wi-Fi hotspot in the phone settings. Open the app after successful connection. Enter the control interface. Mobile app control. Click on the waypoint flight icon. Draw waypoints on the map. Click on the send icon. The drone will fly according to the sequence of waypoints drawn. Click on the circumferential flight icon. The drone will fly in a circle with the current position as the center. Click on the switch camera icon. It is switchable between front camera and down camera. Click the gesture photo icon. Raise one hand in the air gesture. APP will automatically take a photo after 3 seconds. Raise one hand with all 5 fingers together. APP will start recording automatically. Click on the intelligent following icon. Selecting the object to follow, the drone will follow the selected object. Battery replacement and charging. Press the buckle and pull out the battery. Connect one end of the USB charging cable to the battery charging socket. The other end is connected to the 5F3 adapter USB port. Red battery indicator light on when charging and goes off when full charged. Battery charging time of about 200 minutes. When fully charged, insert the battery into the body again. Connect one end of the USB charging cable to the remote control charging socket. The other end is connected to the 5F3 adapter USB port. Green indicator lights on when charging and goes off when full charge. Charging time for the remote control is about 30 minutes. Propeller installation. Unscrew the screws. Remove the propellers. Pay attention to distinguish when replacing the propellers. Left front and right rear are propeller A. Right front and left rear are propeller B. Put in new propeller. Turn and tighten the screws. Guidelines for frequently asked questions. Please refer to the manual for more information on how to operate.